not always about catching the biggest fish. Sometimes it's about spending the day with some incredible people, eating some amazing food, waking up at one of your favorite places on the planet. Sometimes fishing can be rough. Sometimes conditions can be rough. We make the best of it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fishing Grubs. We are out here. It's freaking gorgeous out. I am whoo winded. Today, folks, we are doing some ice camping. And we're gonna do it for as long as we can. I might have to work Wednesday. So we're gonna do Sunday, Monday, and possibly Tuesday if our supplies can last. Which means we have to catch and eat fish out of this body of water. We have a crew with us today. A lot of people are leaving today and we might have like some people coming in and out, but we're definitely camping and our buddy Lauren might be camping. We are definitely camping. We're stoked to be here. Uh, and I am literally only talking to you guys because I didn't want to walk anymore. Boat launch is right behind me. And I am on the second round of trips with the gear. So much gear. Oh God. So much gear. When you are uh, camping, doing the double sled thing right now. This is great. But hopefully we can get on a lot of fish. Maybe we'll see some really big largemouth. We'll see. But really what we want to do is catch fish to eat. So we remembered the electronics this time. So we should be good. Let's get them. Holy crap, guys. All the stuff. So much stuff. Noel just caught another fish. We had to take uh, obviously two trips to get all of our gear. So these guys are catching fish while we're slaving away. I am so pooped. Uh, we're gonna pop the shelter up. <laughs> it looks like uh, Noel got a nice crappie for us. More din din. That's perch. <laughs> there you go. It's beautiful. It's a slab. See ya. That's food. Now we just need more of those for all of us, except for Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have all the flags set up. We got uh, our jig tent set up. Lauren's got uh, his tent set up. He's got his Garmin uh, live scope going. So we're gonna check this thing out today. I'm really excited, really excited. I haven't seen one in person yet um, through the ice, through the ice. And uh, check this out. Camp is a go. Guys, we are set up and we can talk more about camp later because we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here for a couple days. So, ah, pumped, we got the grill set up here. 
I bought a freaking toilet, but I really want to start fishing. Uh, we want to get some more fish to eat. I also brought burgers. I'll probably do burgers for lunch, maybe fish for dinner or vice versa. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, stoked to be out here camping with these fine folk. One of my favorite ponds. Uh, it's ice fish. Let's get, let's get them. Let's get them. Ah. Nada. Oh, yep. What do you mean? I could see. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh, it's fighting. That's a bass, maybe. Mm. Pickerel. Pickerel. Yep, big fucker. You're not eating, are you? No. Dude, feel this line. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nice. Thick. Yeah, it's quality Thick. though. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, you can be up, and then Chris will go. No, nope. we'll start the road. Then we'll start the rotation with that pickerel I just got. Fudge backer. Oh, that's the best. Toss him back. See you later, you little oh, turd. Oh, me. Peace. <laughs> okay. It's a tiny, tiny jig, so. All right. Go back, go. Oh no. Where is he? Oh my goodness. Yes. Nice. <laughs> that's an eater. Sick, Chris. <laughs> Food, That's baby. Awesome. Food, baby. <laughs> hey, you want these hemos? No, no. He's food, so. I know he's food, but all I all you have to do with those jigs are push them in. Yeah, I know. That's great. You just throw them out there. Whose turn is it? Did you get one? I'm not playing. Uh, yeah. Oh, it is going. Feels stupid as fuck. Feels like a stupid pig row. It's running. She's running. Come stand on this side, Noel. No. It's flying. Re just go, ready? Yeah. Screaming, go. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Drop that line. I'm Drop the line. Sure, it's still on you. It's all right. That's gonna be a tangled mess. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a big nice. perch. Let's see if there's any uh, worms in it. This one looks really cool. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah, I only see one. one. Show her so she can see what it looks like. That. Where? That see thing. That white green colored lump. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's oh, yeah. another one. Uh, yeah. They'll be in their gills. Justin and Simone are walking. Hang on, I'm going to call you back. Okay. Is it a keeper? Yeah. Cool. Got him. Nice. Nice eater gill. Ow. Sick. 70 feet. Okay, do you see the fish that's on me? Do you see the fish that's on him? I see that. <laughs> Okay, he's got a fish. It's gonna take it. It's gonna take it. Boom. Nothing. Oh, it's off. 
fucking bluegill. He might have hit it. Oh, oh he's back. It's his friend. Yep. <laughs> it's not, many. Oh, pretty colors though. Well, many, yeah. Had a lot of purple yeah, in there. You go. Let's see if we can get another one. Sweet. He's got a tiny bluegill. Slabba dabba, abba dabba slabba. Slab dab dabba, no worm abba. Slabba dabba 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 do. Sick. Okay. Oh, we got a pack of fish coming. We got a pack of fish coming. Oh, yeah, baby. I can't, you can't even see them on the, uh... Looks like anything Oh, up, oh, up, oh, they're on us. Ooh, I just got bit. Damn. Oh! We got a pack on us. Yeah, he's one fucking around with you for sure. Oh, he bit. Yeah, mine did too. Oh, he had it too. Where, where, we got a pack. Ooh, we got a pack of fish, bud. Oh, nice. Have you guys caught one? We both had nibbles. We just got, they like... They both have nibbles over here and a pack of fish. And now they're gone. Because you can. It, that's what she said. And then it came back, okay? So... <laughs> now we both actually had them on. Don't fucking blame me. Good, nice. Yeah. It's kind of cool watching. I chum a lot, dude. Once I get a hole going, I'll fucking... I'll throw a whole pack of fucking mealies down. Yeah. yeah. Keep them interested, dude. I can't believe we bought that bites. There's fish out there. So that's the biggest reason you you bite the head off is just you, you get the oozy, yeah, the yeah. shit oozing out. Yeah. yeah. Another another pack of fish coming in. Yep, there they come. Smell the head. Oh, dude, they are sweet. You've never had a mealy? They're sweet, bro. Really sweet. Not a keeper, but that's dope, dude. It's a crappie. That's awesome. Did it. We did it. Nice Mission accomplished. Job. Now we can eat fucking nice and be job. stoked. All right, folks, we caught quite a few fish and uh, we got this little pile right here. So plenty of fish to eat tonight for dinner. Um, but right now we're going to make up some burgers. I'm starving. They just got a flag. Uh, we are spread out real far and wide today. Uh, the fishing has been super slow if you haven't noticed especially for us, but It's time 
It's time to cook. I'm starving. I'm starving, Marvin. So I'm going to make everybody a burger. Where? Did you watch it go up? Oh yeah, it's, it's on there. Let's go get it, Noel. Here, hold that. It's been okay. It's had its ups and downs. Yep. I guess so. Now I actually do want to cook my eggs because hot sauce with eggs is the best. Salsa is good. good. Mitchell's fresh salsa. You ever tried that shit? It's um, it's it's in the fresh section. You have to um, it's not like a jarred salsa. Like a tub. Yeah. In like the produce section. Nice. Do they have a mango salsa? They have a pineapple salsa. Oh, pineapples, red onion, habanero, jalapeno. Uh, it uses apple cider vinegar that you don't really taste. It's just this mixer. Yeah, but still. Yeah. It's the quality. That was the quality yeah. guy. Uh, guys, help yourself to a pickle, too. <laughs> burgers are up. All right, ladies and gents, burgers are up. I got some pickles, too. What? Yep. Burgers are filled with like cheddar and bacon, mm -hmm. I think. Mm. Taya made some pickled onions for us. Some it's American cheese. For you. Yeah. So good. Mm. This would be good off the ice. Everything on the ice. Mm. Ten times. Wow. This is awesome. Thank you. Food. <laughs> Yum. Was a hell of a meal super stoked about that we got some people walking towards us they better not come near us i'll How fucking throw my shoe at them they're coming like growling, straight out they're, they're, they're literally coming high. right at us i got small talk central in coming in three how's two. the fishing going catch anything so <laughs> we'll start barking yeah. scream let's act like crazy people like <laughs> i bet noel would be the craziest <laughs> <laughs> 
So uh, yeah, we're gonna continue to fish here. Um, we still got a while until most of these guys probably take off and Lawrence still deciding maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe so, maybe not. How are you gonna sleep on more? Maybe. So, like sitting up. anyways, we're really looking forward to the night here. Uh, just to like relax, take it easy. We're gonna probably fish just in this general area. I might go out and like jig around in the holes, the empty holes for a little bit. We'll see, but uh, I'm just excited to relax and enjoy the next uh, the next two days. Hopefully two days. We'll see how we feel tomorrow. Ah, oh, don't go away, don't leave me. No, I'll tell my friends. a tiny fish dude maybe but it's a something there you go there you go nice not quite a keeper not quite i mean it, you could in yeah, a dire situation you had to squeeze it out yeah got it yeah bitches. i'd say the Nice, that is a eater. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Yes, dude, monster perch. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, right in the snoot rush. Let's see, let's see. How you looking? How you looking? Oh, you look good, too. This might be our, like, one of our last eaters. Like, we're not gonna need him anymore. Let's go one, one more. You know what? We're gonna let this jumbo go. Oh, man. He got our plastic. Give that back. That's sick. Bye, bud. Oh, I should have taken a picture of him. Hell yeah. What's up, bud? The fish? Better fish. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. All right, bud. Get out. Jumbo. <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. That's a tanker. I'll take a picture of that. It's super windy. I'm about to cook uh, some fish tacos for us for dinner. Uh, Lauren and Noel are staying. Chris is about to take off. We had a really fun day today. I got the oil heating up in the skillet. Chris, what do you got to say? Fish don't like to bite today. We still caught plenty of fish. As you guys can see, we got tons of fish to eat. So that's, that's really what we care about. Um, we didn't get the giant largemouth that we really want, but there's always tomorrow and maybe even the next day. We'll see. 
So uh, let's cook some food and uh, chow down. Probably too windy for any audio, but we got some banging fish tacos. We're gonna chop these down. Hopefully they're banging. I don't know yet. We'll tell you in a second. Yeah, they are. Wow. Oh, yeah, they are. Mm. Banging. Banging. Mm. These guys are going to be taking off, so this is turning into a solo camping mission today. After we eat, we're going to leave. I'm going to get this whole area broken down. Bluegill and crappie tacos. Amazing. Yeah. I don't like chowing down on nice hot food, you know? There really that isn't caught too. anything quite like it. up guys leave a comment down below if this is uh, something you would like to do with yourself because you're not taking it <laughs> <laughs> all right so um yeah i'm gonna get things together and i'll, I'll talk to you guys in the in the tent we're all cozied up I, I think i'm gonna try and jig in the tent tonight for a bit and see if we can't you've got some structure under there see if we can't get yeah we know we, there's structure there so maybe we can get something to bite well, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the phone with uh, the Lucky Charm, little Miss Taya, and uh, we got a little gilski right here, right in bed. We're chilling in bed. Right here, chilling in bed. Got in a gill. Let's get him right back in the hole. <laughs> Oh, uh, so cool. So right now, guys, we got the freaking Patriots game on. We're losing, which sucks. But we got the Pats game on. We've caught some fish sitting in bed. What a good night. What a good night. I got to go check the traps in a few minutes. I'll probably just break all the traps down that are out there. Um, it's 6 o'clock now. 6.15. We're probably going to end up falling asleep around 8 o'clock, 8.30, so I don't see us staying up too much later. But we're going to watch some of this game. Hopefully uh, hopefully the Patriots can pull through. We're, we're down 17-7 right now. I don't know. You guys have seen the outcome, so you know what happened, I'm sure, if you pay attention to football at all. But, um, yeah. Hopefully we get a few more fish here. Hopefully we get a few more fish here uh, in the hut. It's usually like uh, fish coming up to check me out when I'm not doing anything. So I'm gonna put a fresh mealworm on now. Let's see what we can do. Got it. I don't know what it is. Crappie. Yes. Go Pats. <laughs> we just got a field goal and I just got a crappie. Freaking sweet, dude. Fish number three in the hut. Job of the hut. So guys, we're over here having fun, having a blasty blast even, watching the Patriots game. We just talked to you guys like two seconds ago. I look up after releasing that crappie. This thing's out. I'm like, okay. I turn it back on, tried to, it won't turn on. The There's no flow. 
right now, so we are completely and totally out of a heater. But luckily, this fine young man, who's not going in focus, there he is, this fine young man right here is uh, helping us out and bringing us a friggin' heater. So it's starting to get cold in here, luckily he's like 12 minutes away. So I'm going to throw this at a wall. I can't believe this. I've had this thing since I started ice fishing. This is my very first heater. This is my buddy. This is my portable buddy. Um, highly recommended. I mean, I can't believe it lasted this long. But, thanks toast. And uh, who knows, maybe we could get it to work at some point. Right now, it's a no-go. So I'm going to go walk and meet Chris. Whew. Motherfucker. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna let you know right here, at this moment, I was pretty freaked out just because, you know, something wrong with the heater. And I really didn't understand what was wrong with the heater until days later when I talked to somebody else that had kind of the same issue. So guys, do me a favor, down in the comment section below, let me know what you think the issue was with the heater. Just got back to the hut, had a fish on us. We had a fish on us immediately, so I turned the camera back on. But Chris gave us his Mr. Buddy, Mr. Heater Portable Buddy. So now we have two, one working, one not. But he also gave us some ginger snaps that Shannon baked. Uh, let me tell you, they're delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Patriots game back on. And Maybe catch a fish or two before I go to sleep. Yes. Yes. Another crappie. Freaking, this is awesome. We got heat back. We got another crappie. Just got another crappie, folks. Just put on a uh, Nicolas Cage movie called Pig. I'm going to gonna watch a movie and watch the screen for a little bit but just another crappie so stoked all right so now the second heater that we got from Chris has stopped working and I talked to somebody else that had something very similar happen and it just makes perfect sense when Chris has died I looked up and I you know, I was just trying to figure out anything that could be wrong, and um, the vents were closed in the tent. So I opened up the vents, I opened up the door a little bit more um, to let a little bit more air in, and then eventually, after enough air got in, they both worked. And they continued to work for the rest of the time that we were uh, out there. So basically, there was not enough oxygen in the tent, and the reason why Chris's worked as soon as I got back into the tent is because I left the tent open a little bit while it was gone and it aired out enough to work for a little bit and then as soon as the oxygen was gone which basically took up that entire tank um, we got cut off again and it was freaky man being out there with all of your stuff I mean I knew I could go to the car and sleep in the car but it just sucked like it was like not scary like Oh my god, I'm gonna die scary, but it was like just it was not comfortable and To be honest This was not the worst part of the night. I also did not film the worst part of the night But I will talk to you about it in a minute Well folks What a pain in the butt that was Chris has just did the same exact thing to me Sitting on the bucket the exact same thing that this one did and then I got mine to work, and now I got Chris's to work. It took a while. The hut got really cold. I did not videotape any of this. I'm exhausted. I got a movie on. Pulled the plug on the. Pulled the plug on the hummingbird here. I'm gonna eat some chips. Hang out. Got some sleep. Probably brush my teeth. Call it a day. But. We will be back on the ice, obviously, as soon as we wake up. 
we'll start tomorrow's video there. If anything wild and wacky happens tonight, like the heater going out again and me not getting any heat in here and dying, I'll turn the camera on before I die. Today was great. Had some really good food, good people, a lot of, lot of running around. That's it. I'm watching a movie. I'm going to get to bed. I'll check in before I get some sleep, but... I'm done fishing. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ends the video, but that did not end my night. In tomorrow's video, you will see just how tired I am. And I'm going to tell you right now why. Because I did not film it. I did not get out of my cocoon. I basically just sat there and dealt with it. Um, about 12 o'clock at night, the wind picked up way more than it was supposed to. I would assume the gusts were getting up to possibly like 20 miles an hour or something. I did not check it. It had to have been extremely high winds. The highest winds I've been out in the shelter in because, well, the shelter I was out in, Becca's old shelter, she broke it. I just fixed it. I hand sewed it and used like a bunch of materials and I, you know, I, I spent hours fixing this thing and I got it to work just for this occasion. I had it out there so I was like already like sketched out that this thing was going to break on me. And I'm out there and at midnight all of a sudden the winds are just freaking ripping and every like 15-20 minutes or so I woke up to the, the wall that was the one I just fixed caving in on me and like almost hitting me while I was in the bed uh, because the winds were so high and that happened uh, pretty much until the sun came up in the morning and then a little bit longer because I didn't get out of bed. So whew, it went from a day of tough fishing uh, to a night of quite a few things going wrong. So if we learned a few lessons here, and that's what we're going to take out of this. If we learned a few lessons here. Uh, one, make sure, when you, especially when you're out there ice camping, to open your stupid vents in the shelter. Just make sure it's open. They could have gotten closed when you close up the thing. You might, you know, have left them open the last time and just think they're permanently open. They might not be. Make sure you check because something like this could happen to you. You might not know why or you might get, like, you know, sick. So that's lesson number one. Lesson number two, uh, what we really need when we're going out and overnighting is we're going to need uh, some tie downs and some rope to, uh, you know, basically keep that shelter just more secure. If we're going out during the day, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, going out and camping overnight, I definitely want to secure those walls down, especially for um, nights when there's going to be higher winds because that was, uh, that was intense. I wish I got it on film. But anyways, you will see uh, tired and uh, just pretty much defeated me tomorrow. Trying to pick myself up from the start. And uh, you know what? By the end of the day, we got a pretty big smile on our face. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just got to stick it out. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. We will catch you tomorrow. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell as well. We will catch you on the next one. Peace, ciao. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk about upon a daily basis. Our information's predetermined by some biased business. We all in sermon to silicon that push up lovely neighbors. I'm done with paper chasing, think I'm on the bigger banquets. This that full circle, new wave, energy on a Tuesday.